falling all over the house, taking down a tree. I feel like I should have a memorial service. All right, so are we ready? Yeah, be sure to meet Mar Barb when you aren't talking because of the dogs. <laughs> they, they should stop any minute now. Look, listen, listen to that quiet. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, we're ready to go, ready? Right. Okay, three, two, one. Welcome everybody to uh, a special workshop we are having this afternoon on how to generate a thousand PV anytime you want or need it. And joining us today, are some of our top PV producers. These are folks who um, are really good at generating PV and, um, and connecting to their customers and using that, the, the same techniques that you are going to be hearing today also for all the aspects of our business. The, we, we want to, before we start giving you these really exciting ideas, we just want to remind you that there are two objectives in our business. One is developing lifelong customers, not just selling a, a box of the, of, of our healthy cleanse or uh, a Vitaly. It's really about uh, building lifelong customers through the relationships that we build with them and the service that we provide them. And it is just within that activity that we often identify people who are very special, who also embrace the whole idea of wellness and prevention and the work that we do and become our business partners and business leaders. So <clears throat> the ideas we're about to share um, help us increase our bonus check because they help us increase our sales, but they also provide wonderful opportunities for us to meet new people and introduce them to our products and our business platform. So um, I'm ask Karen, um, Oh, oh, I was going to introduce you to all the people. Well, Karen, Karen Begley, we have, we have a, a panel today and Karen Begley is going to get us started and talk about just uh, how this we're saying the key word here if you haven't figured it out already shackley is a relationship based business and service and so people are our most treasured commodity so really even before we begin throwing ideas at you you need to really settle into that and understand and and really reflect on you know do i service people do i care for people do i make them feel like they're a priority when it comes to the way that i run my business so we want to make sure that in everything we do again with all the ideas as you're going to hear today, we are weaving that throughout and making sure that this isn't just another sale, but rather it's something that we are providing. And this is what creates lifelong customers, people who become loyal to you. So relationships are built on our personal contacts with them, um, notes. For some of us, we feel a little more comfor comfortable behind our screen, and that's okay. Social media, we're going to talk about how to utilize that really well, but you have to get outside of your comfort zone sometimes and reach out with a phone call. Uh, text messages are great, but that should not be your only mode of communication. Handwritten notes are just, they're a lost art, and so they are very powerful when you can send anything in snail mail. Um, um, I personally like to diversify the way I communicate with my clients. So that can be, you know, balancing between emails, text messages, phone calls, um, snail mail, all of that stuff. So really be intentional about that. And that way, and Pam Carey is, is just so good at this. When you offer information and promotions, they're going to be more receptive to actually hearing from you and accepting your calls. So it's not like, oh, Karen Beckley's calling, it's March, and I haven't heard from her since last August, right? If this is a constant um, service you're providing, even you're building relationships outside of your business, this becomes something that is very organic and people actually look forward to hearing from you. One other component we're going to talk about today are referrals. And so these are key to really expanding your network. And we're going to make sure that with our examples that we offer, that we will be um, just suggesting ways to um, find referrals in that. So, okay, so you're going to need a plan. Now, for me, I like to plan ahead. And I am not very good um, being reactive. I will 
self-admittedly say that I, um, at the end of the month, that end of month hustle, I am always hustling at the end of the month. But when I set goals, I do not set a goal saying, I would love to hit the majority of my PGV on the 31st of the month. That's not my goal. So what I do, and this for me is a mentality thing, okay, to get my mindset in the game, is I set my goal for mid-month. So when I think of mid-month, the 15th of the month, for example, if my goal for that month is 2,000 PGV, I really want to hit director this month, then I'm going to shoot for the 15th to hit that, that 2,000. Now, there are a couple of reasons I do this. So the first one is it really gets me active at the start of the month. So this is when you're going to really be intentional about meeting new customers, finding new business partners, you're scheduling your events actually earlier in the month, because what it allows is it allows time time for follow-up because if you've been around the block here you've learned that just because you have an event does not equate instantly to PGV on that particular day at that particular time it requires you to follow up and make sure that you can close the sale so if you are saving that event for, you know for example for the 29th of 30th you are not allowing yourself time to follow up um, also sorry just trying to mute a couple of voices here. Um, for me, I'm setting that goal and then I'm moving on and the second half of the month then allows me to really solidify that plan. So on the 15th, I assess, okay, where am I at? Wow, I'm at 1800. Sweet. I'm so close. I can actually shift my goal. I should be going for 3000 this month. Or on the 15th, you're at 500. And again, this is the reality. This happens to us at times you need to shift your goal, right? And you need to get more, maybe you need to now plan an, an additional event or make that phone call to the one person that you've been nervous to reach out to. Uh, so now you're following up, you're servicing your current customers and your distributors during this time. You are offering any incentives for referrals. You're scheduling those additional events, like I just mentioned, if necessary. I like to put most of my events up front and then I'll always schedule one towards the end of the month because that is my chance to maybe make up for anything that I'm missing. And then you want to make sure, as we mentioned, that you have multiple avenues to reach customers. So I gotta, gotta remember to unmute. <laughs> I was muted because the dog barking. Anyway, so the first idea we want to share with you is a very hot topic, and that is the healthy cleanse. The healthy cleanse uh, is um, a, a package that Shackley now offers, and it is um, seven days of eating primarily like a vegetarian and um, unlimited amounts of fruits and vegetables and taking a little packet of several carefully chosen Shackley products. Um, there they are. And uh, Pam, you want to want to tell them a little bit about we have we have two two avenues for offering the healthy cleanse to people. There is one that is the one from the company that is a, a box with, with um, carefully selected products in little packets and it tells them what to take in the morning, what to take in the evening. Um, and then there's another one that I actually prefer because some of the products that are offered in the cleanse are really important products that we should be taking all the time, in my opinion. Um, one of them is Optiflora, the, the, the newest probiotic in the Shackley line. That is so critical for gut health. And gut health relates to everything from our immune system to the gut-brain connection. Um, liver DTX, we, our poor livers take so much abuse. And after reading more about the importance of a cleanse for the liver and the job that it does and all the filtering that it does of toxins that come in to our bloodstream through the food that we eat and the preservatives and the, uh, the chemicals uh, like the BPA and the things that align our cans and um, the, 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 um, flame retardant chemicals. There's just so many things that we're exposed to now that it seems to me liver DTX, people should take an entire bottle of that and do that periodically, several times a year. And then good old alfalfa that helps uh, keep uh, with sinus issues and alkalizing the blood and so on. So um, 
if we we wanted to do the math for you on each of our ideas to show you how easy it is to generate 500 PV, 1,000 PV, because the cleanse program is so compelling. People feel so good on it, and the testimonials have been <laughs> remarkable about energy, about better sleep, about cravings for sugar and gluten gone, um, and weight loss, for heaven's sakes. People, um, the, the last two people that I had on the cleanse, um, each lost nine pounds. Um, I think more, and, uh, Becky, you were on it recently, and what was it, you and your husband, you lost five pounds, I think? Right. I was five and he was seven. And he was seven. And so people love it for all those reasons. But um, it also, look at if you had just 10 people who started on that, that three, the, on the cleanse package, actually, I had originally just the first three items there. And then Pam said, you got to add alfalfa. So it's now a four cleanse collection. So I'll change that. But um, look at that. That's 680 PV. Mm -hmm. You know, so if our goal is to increase our volume by a thousand PV, 10 people, you know, you talk to two and a half people a week and you're, and you're, and you're there. So, okay. And, it, and you can use the Shackley cleanse kit, which I like very much. Um, but the PV on that is just 25 PV. But the brilliance of that is that it is a segue to the Shackley Vitalizer and Shakes, which Karen's going to show you in a moment. But first, I want, um, I want to ask Pam, as we go along, we want to give you the languaging of how we invite people into these various ideas. And so, Pam, would you share your dialogue here? Sure. Um, hi, everyone. I'm happy to be here today. I, I have often had the request of people to just record or... Um, drop my mouth into their brain of their hard drive and just get everything that I say come out into their mouth. So this is the closest thing we have to uh, simulate um, what I say. And I, my words aren't perfect. Um, believe me, you'll see. As Barb was trying to write these things down yesterday, I was talking, she was like, oh my gosh, hold on, hold on. And my ideas bounce all over the place. So, you know, these scripts are not verbatim. Um, what I say or what you should say, but they're just ideas. And you'll see when we get this first one that I kind of bounce around in my head. But um, the point is you can't really say too much wrong. Just read these over, sort of practice them. There's several scripts in our presentation today to help you just get comfortable with your words. And um, you'll do it just the way you're supposed to do it. You really will just show up fine, but just practice and practice, practice in front of the mirror, practice with your cat or your dog. I mean, they never say no, so they don't reject you ever. So that's perfect. But anyway, so I love the seven day cleanse um, kit, the little box, because it's simple. And I do always start offering people that despite the lower PV, that is 25 PV, it seems like it's not going to get you to 2000 very quickly. But I do offer um, the bottles collection because they can buy those separately because so many people have asked for, as Barb said, for those products um, to be a part of their regimen after the cleanse is over. They realize the value of them. And the importance of that is that you can bill yourself as, as an advocate for them because it's a much better deal. And I've, I've, I'll tell people, you can get for, um, you know, roughly $47 or something is, is the retail price of the cleanse kit. You can get a week supply or you can get as a member, you can get a full month supply, four weeks supply for $90. So, and I've had people make both choices. Some people want to pay for the convenience. So you just have to kind of put them both out there and let them decide. When you give people options, then they have more control and they like that because they're selecting something. Yes. Can you hear me? Everybody can hear me okay, right? Nod your mm -hmm. head, Becky and mm -hmm. Karen. Yes, okay. yes, yes. I don't know what's up with Barb. She's frozen. Okay. So anyway, so if I call them, I would say something like this. Hey, Nancy, I was calling to talk to you because, you know, this weekend we spring forward with our clocks and I heard a read or whatever I'd say. I read somewhere that it's a good idea when you change your clocks to detox. Have you ever done a detox before? And, and um, many times our uh, bodies are in need of detox. And I, I myself do that in the spring and the fall. When I change my clocks, I detox. So I'm putting a group of friends together to do what I call a seven day healthy cleanse. And then I might, add, and she would say, oh, and I would say, um, do you, have you ever done a cleanse before? And she'll and allow her to talk then. We're not fire hosing. Don't read her this entire script, okay? So we're going to ask her, have you ever done a cleanse before? And she'll say yes or no, and let that conversation go. Let them 
you know, say their words and let them be heard. And um, she might say, yeah, you did when it was 21 days. It was really arduous and we hated it. I and mean, all we do is spend our days in the bathroom and she'll tell you whatever she tells you. And then you can say, oh, well, were you aware that she actually has a new seven day healthy cleanse program? It comes in a little kit. Have you seen that? And then let her answer. And I don't know, it's been on social media and in the emails, I've promoted it some. Do you get those emails from Shackley, by the way? So you can, event, again, go down that little rabbit hole for a little bit if you want. Just let the conversation go around so you can build a relationship with her and then get back on track with people are loving these cleanses. We start them every Monday. One thing, you know, you got to be ready. I learned that you can't just decide today to do it tomorrow per se, because it takes a little prep. And, you know, people are reporting this, that, and the other. It's off the side of the box. You can read it. Um, many people find it's the perfect jumpstart to a weight loss program. And we've had great success with that. Um, I would say people average um, law, weight loss of at least five pounds. And they say it's surprisingly fun and easy. I'm telling you, when I was on it, I fell into this love affair with vegetables. I did it the week before Thanksgiving and um, I'm still craving vegetables and I'm loving that. I needed to get more vegetables in my life and this is the thing that helped me get there. So there's great support on Facebook with recipes and, and people putting posts up and stuff. And then she, you might ask her, are you on Facebook? And she might say, I don't want to do it. If it's on Facebook, it's no obligation to be on Facebook. You know, you got to kind of respond to her objections as she comes along. And um, the point is that they're never hungry. It's really... Um, eating like a vegetarian as much as you want for the week. So um, if you focus on vegetables and fruit, you can make soup and salad. If you want to sort of take her there a little visually, imagine what she would be doing. Um, you can eat raw, you can eat every two hours, you can graze all day, you can, um, no dairy and meat, you know, you can uh, soups and stews and or, um, salads and stir fries, you can make that stuff. There are some limitations on the oil amounts that you can use in a day and that kind of stuff. Um, but then I ask them, usually this is on there, but I ask them their blood type because O blood types usually need more protein. And just so you know, there's a book called Eat Right for Your Blood Type. So the O blood types need more protein and it's difficult for them um, to put protein or to go without protein for seven days. So talk to them about that. So then, then there's more advocacy for them, right? And you're talking to them about what might work for them in case they're struggling. Oh, it's the blood type. I didn't know. So you can throw in some protein. You have an option. And I always tell them that the benefits that they're going to get from all the good of the, of the cleanse is going to far outweigh whether they ate one piece of chicken that week or they had their son's slice of birthday cake or it's not going to be fatal, right? We're just trying to take seven days to pay attention to our eating. We're really giving our digestive system a break. Dr. Jamie says it's seven days of rest and rejuvenation for your digestive system. And um, our digestive system, you know, is... I don't know. We have an onslaught of abuse to our digestive system every day. I mean, throughout the year. So to give it a break is a really nice thing. So light exercise is okay. Walking or stretching or yoga or things like that, but we don't want to really be working out and stuff. So give yourself permission to not work out this week and do a cleanse. So your body just loves it. And it's great. We're putting together a group of people. It's starting next week, Monday, or you give them a little advance notice and just ask them if they want to join in. So that's kind of, does that make sense to you guys that you want to just kind of get comfortable with the topic and feel them out and invite them to join? And then is this me too? There's, oh, Karen, good. I'm out. <laughs> so, <laughs> peace out. So going from the cleanse to the detox, there are actually several options for our customers. Um, the cleanse is the approved program of, of Shackley just because we have so much wonderful research behind it. And it is, I would say, the most comprehensive plan. It's a little intense too, but a lot of people are looking for that. Um, but what I do love too is that you can offer options to your clients based on their needs. Pam just addressed like the blood type issue with more protein, that kind of thing. So my team specifically has had a lot of success with the detox. Um, there is the cleanse and there is also the reset. So I'm just going to quickly go over the, I mean, there's a lot of intricacies to it, but the differences between them and keep in mind that my team also offers the other two as well. But this is the one we've found has just become really popular with our um, specific clientele. So as um, Pam and Barb mentioned, the cleanse is primarily fruits and veggies with the supplements. With the detox, you are um, including now the Life Shake protein. So the detox includes three Life Shakes a day for five days. So there's another difference, five days versus seven days. It also includes the same cleanse supplements that we mentioned for the cleanse. Um, and then we have a healthy snack list. So I'm going to show you all of this in detail on the next slide. Um, but know that the reset is an even simpler version, less of a commitment. And that is typically one to two shakes a day. So again, detox is three shakes a day. 
the reset is one to two shakes a day. Otherwise, it really follows a similar plan. And then with those other meals, you're going to make sure you have a sensible meal of lean meat, fruits and veggies, that kind of thing. But you are, it's almost a balance between um, meals and life shakes. So the way it works, this really is up to you how you want to design it. But what's great is Shackley already offers the box with the cleanse supplements already divided for you. And so when you combine the cost of that with a canister of Life Shake, it comes out to about $85 member price. And again, you can have individuals purchase this on their own. If you want to take that on and then, you know, deliver the products, you can do that. If you want to purchase the bottle sets, like Pam was mentioning, this is where you decide for your business what works best. But um, for simplicity, this box is wonderful. And you'll notice it is seven days because it's, it's designed for the cleanse. So really your customers will have two extra days of supplements, which is a bonus. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them continuing with those supplements when the detox is up after five days. So um, they can continue with those. But I also offer incentives uh, for referrals. Now, we mentioned earlier the importance and the power of referrals. Sometimes referrals can be hard to get. Uh, and we're going to give you some tips on how to really do that. I will tell you that has been the sweet spot of this detox because people don't want to do it alone. So they often recruit their friends and family and you now have connections to people that you would have never met in the first place just through this five day program that you are offering. So I'll show you again how to do that. Um, but the supply, I already mentioned how the supplies are ordered. And then we also provide a Facebook group. And this really creates that personal connection that we mentioned um, earlier. But it, it really lets them get to know you and be educated on the products um, and what's going on in their body throughout the week. So this is really, really important to make sure you do. In that group, we also offer giveaways and incentives for participation and going through it together and encouraging one another is so powerful. And really, while you and your team are leading it, you let the participants really encourage one another because there is a lot of um, power in you know, in a, in a group. And then I also provide a weight and measurement sheet because again, this is not a weight loss program. It is losing weight is a side benefit of this, but if someone is looking to just lose weight, I often don't recommend the cleanse, the detox or the reset because it's more than that. It's actually, the purpose is, sorry, um, to really teach a new healthy lifestyle um, and to allow someone to start making new habits so that out of this they can um, continue on with more than just, well, I lost five pounds and I'm good to go. So here's what it looks like. Our daily schedule, this is just a sample, but you're going to see that there's a smoothie at all three meals. In the morning, they're going to take their Vitalizer strip. If you're going to go a little more basic, you could go with the Vital E and the Pearl Probiotic. But the Vitalizer strip is, as you all know, such a wonderful source of nutrients and it it also gets them used to the vitalizer strip. And uh, then they're also going to take five alfalfa, one liver DTX, and then of course tea and lemon water are important in the morning. Um, mid morning and mid afternoon, they get to select a snack from the healthy snack list. So if you look over on the right column, you're going to see the snack list. And this really appeals to a lot of people because you're going to see that this is pretty liberal. Um, I love that, you know, there is um, a hard boiled egg on this list. We have our Shackley snack bar. Uh, you're going to see raisins and, but notice these are all natural foods. And so where someone used to be snacking and reaching for crackers or popcorn or chips, they're now replacing it with such wonderful, clean food. Um, and that is really the biggest shift that we see in people in, in breaking these habits. And it also contributes to breaking those cravings. And then you're going to see at dinner, they have their smoothie and then some more supplements. Um, but throughout the day, it's unlimited fruits and veggies. So the key is no one should be hungry at any point. They can keep eating and eating, and eating obviously fruits and veggies, right? So that produce. Then the sweet part of this from your perspective is the follow-up. So as I mentioned, you're educating them throughout, but you want to make sure you follow up and it can result in some big PV for you. So we are giving you tips on how to earn a thousand PGV. This detox right here with 10 participants can bring you a thousand PGV alone. So let's take a look at how. If an individual is purchasing that canister of Life Shake and that box with the seven day cleanse, it adds up to 55 PV. And as mentioned, doesn't sound like a lot right? However, if you have 10 people doing the detox, which with referrals is so doable, you now have 550 PV in that month alone generated just from the detox. 
But if you do a great job at following up, as we mentioned, this is not the end of the road. Now you want to transition them into a plan. And I always go to the vitalizing plan. Now, there's a good, better, best plan. You could, you know, good would be a little simpler with the Vital E and the probiotic. Best would be turnaround kit with Vital E and probiotic. Um, but the vitalizing plan is such an easy transition because it's exactly what they've been doing all week. The vitalizer strip and a shake. That is 111 PV. It also makes them a preferred member. So if you get five people out of your 10, and so I was being very conservative here, but let's say half of the people continue on with the plan, that now equates to 555 PV. So when you add the two together, what do you notice? You're well over 1,000 PGV just for that month alone. And that second section of the vitalizing plan, that's not just 555 PV. That's 555 PV for you every single month because now you have educated them. They've fallen in love with the products. They've achieved results. And they're going to continue on with this monthly. So this is built upon as you go. The benefits are you have now introduced them to our foundational products, which you all know speak for themselves. They don't have to have a lot of commitment. They're not signing the dotted line. They're literally trying these products for a low price point, and they're experiencing significant results as a result in a very short amount of time. It's almost like a, like a Costco sample, right, of our products. They get all of the benefits. They get to see if they like it, and then from there, they get to make the choice if they want to continue on. And then it's also, this is where I've been able to build my team, by doing Doing this, it actually becomes an existing program for a new distributor. So a new distributor coming on, if we're offering this detox every other month, they can jump right in, recruit 10 people, and they have a business right then and there. This program is already in place. So we follow the structure regularly. And, and Karen, you really built your business mm -hmm. on this five-day five reset and detox. And I, I love the way you've made it a system. And so you also are going to offer some word tracks to help us um, plug people into it. So share those with us. Yeah, so Barb is so great with offering word tracks, and I think they are helpful. But as par Pam said, make them your own words. But I'm just going to show you how I invite people. Um, so I'd say something like, will you do the Shackley detox with me? So that's important. I'm always doing this with any clients I ask to do it, um, because I do it every other month. Uh, but by getting them to do it with me, I think they feel a camaraderie there. And I'll attach the graphic with some more information, which you saw on the last slide. I've done it several times now, and I absolutely love it. Changing my routine for five days has taught me how to create healthier habits, and it's a natural approach to feeling better. I'd love to be able to do this alongside you. I'm confident that we can do anything for five days. Will you join me? So notice I end with a question, because that's going to facilitate a response. Instead of, let me know if you want to do it, that's completely different than you're hanging, you know, you're just waiting. So make sure you end with a question. And I always tell people, you can do anything for five days. You can do anything for five days. And that is the truth. Uh, the incentive I offer is $5 off your detox for every referral. So if my Aunt Judy is going to do the detox and she's got five of her coworkers, for each coworker, I'm going to offer Aunt Judy $5 off her detox. That's $25 off her detox, which is significant savings for her. But what did that do? It just unlocked, again, another network. And I can't tell you how many customers I've gotten that I didn't know at all because they were a referral through the detox plan. Uh, educating them. This is an important component because you want to make sure that throughout they know what they're doing and what's happening to their body because if it's just an isolated five day event, nothing will happen out of this. So the detox is a wonderful way to jumpstart your health and create new habits. This is not a weight loss program. It's a lifestyle change. At the end of the week, you will break cravings and feel amazing, which is why it's really important to have a wellness plan out of the detox. I'd highly recommend Shackley's vitalizing plan because it'll allow you to continue with your daily essential vitamins. Um, and having a plan in place is important to maintaining your momentum from all of your hard work this week. So what I do is before we even begin, I actually talk to them about the vitalizing plan. They haven't even started the detox detox, but I explain to them what it is and why it would be a smart step out of this. And that, again, just, you know, I get a great return on that. And then, of course, you want to make sure you schedule an appointment to debrief the detox. Find out what they thought about it. And it's okay to ask if there were things they didn't like. Um, but was there anything that surprised you from the week? And a lot of times people will say, I was actually surprised how I wasn't hungry. Uh, there's a lot of positive surprises. What did you find challenging? What components of the five-day detox do you feel you can continue with? Um, does the vitalizing plan seem like a practical way for you to incorporate some of these newly learned habits? So you're hearing from them. And again, that's that service we provide.
And I'm just going to quickly um, go over a second idea uh, that I, this is separate from the detox, but um, I love meeting with people. I just, again, value relationships. And so I will schedule individual consultations through coffee dates, lunch appointments. I'll do them virtually if they're out of town or busy over the phone. But this gives me a chance to really make sure I am hearing their needs and catering my questions and my wellness plan to what they need, not just, oh, I'm going to smack a sticker on this. You need, you know, this particular kit of products, but rather let, let me hear, you know, why is it you, you struggle with sleep? Because the reality is not everyone needs gentle sleep complex for sleep issues. It could be something completely unrelated to that. Um, and this gives you a chance to educate them. I'm a firm believer in adults making choices. And so if I've given them all of the information and have educated them, and that's why our health chats are such a rich resource, they can make up the decision themselves if they want to go ahead and continue with a Shackley plan, but I've got to do a good job of teaching them why that's important. If you schedule one of these a week, which is so doable, even for those of us who work full time, if you can schedule one each weekend, um, you're going to find that these typically generate an average of 100 PV. So if one per week would be four a month, you now have brought in 400 PV for the month. And I put here the utilize, or I'm sorry, the residual income because Again, if you've done your part on educating them, this is now 400 PV that will repeat itself every single month. So that on month two, when you schedule four new appointments, you've now added another 400 PV to the existing, is my math making sense? Um, so this is a really powerful way to bring in large amounts of PGV while you're servicing your people. Excellent. And then just referrals. You can ask people to refer others to you. The, the main reason someone's going to refer their friends and family to you is because they trust you. So if you're, receive, if you're giving them quality care, then they're going to be proud to refer you to someone that they love. So make sure you're present, you're a good listener, that you're following up, that you're caring. And make sure you're offering yourself as a resource too. They're going to know that you are someone that they can reach out to down the road when their child is struggling or their parent is struggling or they have a new issue that they need to talk to you about. Um, but make sure they know that your business relies on referrals and that you would be humbled and appreciate any referrals they can bring your way and even incentivize them for that too on their orders, which is, a, a, you know, going to really encourage them to do that. Excellent. Thank you, Karen. That was super. Okay, now we're going to give you our next idea. And this one comes from Becky. And I guess it even originated with Katie Beck. Yeah, I was going to say, I have to give Katie and her group the credit because we, uh, we saw that she was doing this event on Facebook and we said, can we can we be invited? And so then we kind of developed an outline on it. So I love the sharing community that Shackley has. So um, this is actually a Facebook group, but we call it an event because um, we want people to um, think that it's short-lived and it can be short-lived, but the benefit of, of a, being a group is that you can schedule posts, which is helpful because we have several of our um, people that help contribute work, so they can schedule their posts. And then you also can upload files in a group. You can't do either of those things in an event. And so um, it's just a nice, I just wanna set the stage for um, how it can work. So for this particular event, we're highlighting um, really four things, the mascara, the BB cream, the youth skincare, and the vitalizer. And we, we tuck in the vitalizer um, as kind of healthy from the inside out. Um, you can make, you know, there's all, I looked up eye quotes, there's all kinds of eye quotes out there um, that, that are catchy and, and I think a nice graphic is good. Um, I like to use Canva and Word Swag, but there's tons of other places where you can generate graphics, but just something that looks attractive. And what I wanna say too, is that I don't just put these graphics on my Facebook page and expect people to come. Um, I will like text people individually with this picture. And um, I think I have some wording here. So yeah, so I will, um, I want to tell people why I want them to come. And this one for me personally, I'm super excited about because I do, I have done great with um, the youth in person. Um, if anybody tries it and I can have them do it on their hand or anything like that, I do great. I personally have not had great success from me just telling people about it and then them, um, you know, wanting to purchase the whole product or whatever. But there's something about the mascara that is very intriguing to people. And I think it's because most women probably wear mascara. And so the fact that we have one that not only does a great job, but it's also super healthy for you, is just a win-win. So I feel like that's been my door opener. And then when I get people in the 
um, group and event long enough, they're learning about all the benefits of the skincare. We have just had amazing feedback on it. So um, this is one of the text messages that um, I copied and pasted and put in here. And um, anybody that knows me knows that I've curled my eyelashes since I was 14. <laughs> <laughs> and so that was a big deal to me that people were saying that uh, my eyelashes are staying curled all day, but then also people who've used it for a long time say they don't even have to curl their eyelashes anymore. Um, and my college roommate is one of my customers and she texted back and said, wow, I know that's a big deal to you. And <laughs> so she, she came on the event. Um, but it's really nice for you to be able to team up with some other distributors to add um, variety, different personalities, but also just more people. You know, there's, there's something about that. Um, and so we had two people do most of the uh, posting, but then we had four people do live videos um, throughout the day. Um, somebody did a mascara demo, a BB cream demo, where you're kind of showing the different shades, but also how you can contour them, um, the vitalizer explanation, and then a wrap-up video. And then we did have... Um, a few, um, we had a grand prize winner. Somebody was going to win a free mascara, which was a big deal. So we did have that by the next day. So if like we had this on a Monday, we would announce the winner by Tuesday night because some people work, we realize, on Monday. And so they'd need, you know, Monday night, maybe part of Tuesday to read through it. Um, so um, for us, we have done three, this last month we did three in a month and that really helped us with PV. Um, we already talked about the feedback. These are some of the graphics that um, we have used. We did do giveaways during the event. And um, Katie, I thought your event schedule was brilliant because the very first post of the day was, was a giveaway. So it got people commenting. Um, our question was, um, name one thing that you're looking for, what, one thing that's important to you in your skincare or your makeup. And it just gets people rattling things off. And then I think people are like, wow, there's a lot of activity here. What's going on here? And then they get on and they kind of stay tuned. Um, and so we had a winner kind of midday for a giveaway and then maybe that night at seven and then our grand prize was um, the mascara. And the last one we did, we actually said we're tripling the giveaway. So we had three winners every time um, we did that and that was kind of a nice draw. Um, then here's some more um, graphics and some of these you guys have probably made. <laughs> <laughs> that we have taken. Um, thank you for sharing. Um, but we did do one that if they order by a certain date, those first two on the top, um, if they order by the end of February, we were offering some specials. Um, Shackley, of course, already is doing the order the whole advanced skincare line and they get two free masks, but then we were adding on a free mascara. So again, it's just nice bonuses and um, really intriguing. And then these other four, if you're not familiar with them, all of those are called duos and those are um, specials all the time. And so those are, those are really great. So we want them to know that too, that there's always so clever. They're so yeah. good. And look at the PV they generate. This is excellent. Yep. So, um, so a lot of people took advantage of the mascara and the eye treatment and um, that together. So looking at that, you know, if you had 10 people, that's 650 PV. Um, if someone buys, or if people buy the whole skincare kit and we did, we had several people buy the whole skincare kit. Um, that's going to give you guys almost a, you could, be a director in, you know, from 10 people ordering the skincare. The duos, they range from 64 to 92. So that's going to be your um, PV if you have 10 people ordering. And then we have had, um, I wouldn't say a ton, but we have definitely had some people that have been interested in the Vitalizer once watching um, the event. So that's been really great too. Um, so from our particular um, group, and this is just my group, it doesn't count Francine or Cassie or Kari, just my group and my distributors in three events, that's what we generated was over um, 1558 PV. Um, mm -hmm. And we did three in a month because people were loving them. And so then we offered um, incentives, which um, kind of goes into this next thing is um, we offered incentive if they um, invited people. So we said, if you have four more friends, order $50 or more. And I did say new to Shackley because I, there are some people that, you know, are already members. So I wanted them to be new. Then we give you a free mascara or we give you a free BB cream. Um, or you could say you could give them a, a free eye makeup remover and not have a, an order amount for your, um, for their friends, but you can be creative. You know, this was just what we did um, to do that. And then Pam, here's some nice dialogue. Oh, you're Pam. muted. Oh, Pam. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm trying to find my arrow on my screen. It has, <laughs> okay, has a way good. of getting away. Okay, okay. So here, here comes um, another I, sample dialogue. 
So I wanted to, you know, hey, Nancy, I wanted to talk to you for a minute about skincare. I'm not sure if you're aware, um, but Jacqueline introduced a new skincare line recently. It's all natural, gluten-free, cruelty-free, and most importantly, free of 2,500 chemical ingredients typically found in skincare products. Um, I love this line. I'm really excited about it. I've been using it for a while. I'm getting great compliments on my skin. And so we're hosting a 30-minute online class on Tuesday night at 730. On the class, we're going to highlight our two-in-one mascara and lash conditioner, because that's pretty amazing, and our BB cream, and really going to go through the entire youth skincare line. It's great and interactive, and it will even, we can even show you how to experience the complete regimen in just five minutes, morning or night. So we're going to have a little product information at the front of the call, and then we're going to head into the bathroom to have a little video demo on how you can apply everything and how quick and easy it is and how you get such great results. I would just love it if you could join us. And would you like to send, like me to send you the information? And then you can send to the graphic like this. And then we don't put the link on the graphic always. The rule is sort of, here's the information. If you'd like to comment below, we'll send you the link. That way we know who's coming that we've invited and we can make sure we have them on the list to follow up with. We can check to make sure they do come to the event. And of course, as Karen said, we're gonna do that all important follow up afterward. But that kind of keeps the event um, under control. We know, like I said, who's coming and it just doesn't go out to the world of everyone about our skincare line. So Excellent. I like that it's easy to talk about. Excellent, Pam, great. So Becky, idea number two. Yep. So. Um, I like to have, when I first started my business years ago, we did in-home in events, you know, in someone's home, they invite a few friends over, we tell about it. Well, um, because technology is, continues to advance, Zoom is kind of the next best thing for that. And it's nice because you don't even have to live in the same community. Um, so what I do is um, I'm asking for um, my current customers, you know, do you have some friends that might be interested in, in what we're um, talking about here, whether it's women's health or the um, cleanse or whatever. Um, and if you invited, you know, you could have whatever number of people you want, but if you have five people there, I'd love to give you a healthy cleanse or a cancer or a protein or a mascara, whatever kind of they're interested in. And then you're going to cover the topic just like you would at someone's home, only you're doing it on this format. Um, and you can have slides if you want. And, um, and sometimes it's handy if it's if it is just five people and they're asking about something, you can even pull up, you know, files from your computer. You can share your screen. It's just very handy um, to be able to do that. And my daughter, Sarah, just did two grand openings. Um, she actually sent an interest sheet that we typically have used um, when we have events and we have people fill it out at the end, kind of how are we going to follow up. But she thought it would be, she wanted to try it as um, sending it to people before the event so that they could see really kind of what we offer, but then what, how to tailor the content to the people's interests. And it worked really, really well. Um, you know, we have all kinds of PowerPoint presentations and slides and um, Barb is, is a wonderful resource for that. And um, what I like to include in these kinds of things is, you know, a little bit about my story, why I chose Shackley, a little bit about the Shackley history, and then whatever the topic is, and then um, how Shackley can help. You know, there's, there's lots of things like if we um, want to talk about all the toxins. Um, in fact, the one that we just, she just did one last Sunday, um, we started off with just some kind of the problems with toxins in our cleaners. And all of her guests were unaware of the things that were dangerous in their in their chemical cleaners. So sometimes we need to kind of present that problem a little bit and then say, okay, now here's a solution. Um, I just wanted to share with you, um, she had a nice graphic that she um, not only put on her social media, but she also, um, again, invited people individually, and then she sent this nice graphic too. And then this was the type of um, interest sheet she did. She happened to do it in a Google form so that people could fill it out like a survey, but um, that's the kind of stuff that she had on there. Um, and then really, again, just like um, Karen and I was talking about, we want to have referrals. That's one of the best things. And so um, you can tailor it however you want. What we said, um, so we just did this grand opening on Sunday. So what we said is, hey, if you would schedule, if you think that you have friends that might be interested in what we talked about tonight, if you would um, schedule your date to host, to be the hostess by, we said this Friday, then we're going to give you either four shake packets or eight teas for like scheduling that, for putting it on the calendar and picking the date. Um, or you could you could go big and say, we're going to give you a, a seven-day healthy cleanse kit, you know, or something like that. It It's whatever um, 
your creativity and, and your financial um, place can can um, handle, but it's just nice sometimes to put a little carrot out there and an and a end date, and then she can follow up with those people and say, hey, I just wanted to let you know um, I had that little special going if you wanted to schedule something by this Friday. What did you think after you had time to think about that? So again, follow-up's always the key, you guys. It's it's We can't get away from it. It's a wonderful way to be able to um, continue the conversation that we are having with people. Love those. Thank you, Becky. So mm -hmm. I am a huge believer in taking the time to really educate our customers. I think by educating, we are really developing lifelong customers and also business partners. So I'll give you an example of what that looks like. You know, oftentimes on social media, we'll get messages asking, hey, can you tell me about the kids vitamins? Or hey, can you tell me about the detox? And it is our job to educate people. And so I had somebody reach out the other day and ask about what vitamins we have. And instead of inundating her with all of this information about Incredibites and probiotics and all of this stuff, instead, I first asked why she was interested, what were the health needs of her family. And I also shared with her that I had a kid's health webinar I can send her and then gift her free shipping, or maybe it's $5 off or whatever you want to do for them. Um, and she was very interested in taking a look and listening to that. And I've had a lot of people who have taken advantage of our webinars that we have on better health in 31 days, which so many different options that we have um, on there to choose from. And so when people come to us with a health concern, we can share this with them. And what I find is they take the time to listen to them. They're learning and it's, it's amazing. It's amazing how much they're learning. And a, a lot of times that leads to really big orders and it also leads to big um, to business partners as well. I also advertise that on our customer Facebook group. I think that that's really important to let people know that we have an earn while you learn program. And so I give them the option of a bunch of different ideas that they can choose from. You can do free shipping, you could do $5 off, whatever works with your budget. But I think it's important to reward them for putting in that time to learn. And ultimately it saves us time because they're spending that time on their own learning all those things. And like I said, it, it ends up saving us time. Also, I think it's helpful to do our new member appointment or a new member Zoom. One of the things that Karen and Lauren and I put together was a whole presentation, a new member Zoom pr presentation that we recorded that walks members through our story. They get to hear how we came into Shackley and, and what our health was like before Shackley. Then we walk them through all the benefits of their membership. We talk about auto ship. We talk about the new uh, preferred member packs discounted that they get the first three months. We talk about our earn while you learn program. We integrate the business. We are able to share with them the you share build model. And so this is a recorded Zoom that we put together. Um, all the information we gathered, you know, through the Shackley website, and I'm happy to share ours as well. Um, but this was something that was really simple to do and then to send to members when they are a new member. And I think that this is really important because when people join, it's really important that they know all of the benefits and perks and, advantage, and advantages to their membership. So this is another way of sharing with them the Earn While You Learn program. And I know that recently um, I had a, a team member, Sam, who was able to do that as well. And she had one of the goals for that new member Zoom was to get people on different product lines. So maybe you had somebody who joined with the Vitalizing plan, and now all of a sudden they're interested in purchasing skincare because they didn't even know that Shackley also had a skincare line. So I know that Sam had success with that um, as well, and that was one of my goals that I have too for uh, sending this out. And the next thing I wanna briefly mention is um, we have what's called a Thrive event. And it's, this is something that Harper actually created. You can name it whatever you want, but basically it's a relaunch grand opening. So I'm a big believer in doing our, our grand opening. But you know what? It's been six and a half years since I did my grand opening. And I know so many more people now than I did six and a half years ago. And a lot of times people don't know the Shackley difference. They don't know my story. They might not know about all of the different product lines that Shackley has to offer. And so we created, or Harper created, this amazing grand opening relaunch. Again, very similar to what Becky does with these Zooms um, that you can do in your home, um, as well as um, virtually as well. So the next thing I wanted to share is social media. 
idea. So if you're looking to plant those seeds, and then our goal is always, always, always to get them on the phone, get them connecting personally um, or in person is ideal. But it's a great opportunity to get leads and to start seeing who's interested. And so I've been taking a social media course recently. And one of the things that they have really been teaching is to identify your ideal audience. Who do you serve best? And I think sometimes when it comes to our business, we just want everyone to, to, to get on Shackley. And I mean, don't we all? But the reality is, not everybody will choose to be a customer of ours. Not everyone will choose to do the business with us. I know for me, my ideal audience tends to be moms, tends to be moms with kids. And so when I'm doing social media posts, I'm going to think about that ideal audience I have. It also helps me work through the no's because we all get the no's and we all get the people who aren't interested or maybe say no to the business. But you just remember, okay, they're not my ideal business partner and that's okay. Um, I think it's also important that we have six seconds, six seconds to grab somebody's attention. So you really want to take the time to make images and to create videos that will grab somebody's attention. So an example on the right hand side was an image I made using um, an app called what is it? Um, Unfold, Unfold app, which is a newer app that I've been doing. Um, and it takes me a little bit of time to do those graphics, but let me tell you, it is worth it. It's worth it to have those images that are going to grab people's attention and really help educate them. And then pick a focus. So for me in the month of March and the end of February, I was really focused on the detox. So I decided, hey, you know what? I'm going to go live about the detox. And guess what happened? Not only did I get people doing the detox, but my mom shared the detox video. Then she had three people reaching out to Lauren and myself about the detox as well. And then I talked to somebody else. Again, this referral thing, in order to grow our business, remember, there are people who, it's very easy for them to share this, um, who I said, hey, you're going to have enough in those full bottles to share it with somebody. If you split it with them, um, you could do it uh, with, a, with a spouse or with a friend. And it'll make it easier for you because that accountability and that support that you get to do alongside somebody um, makes it more fun too. So this month it's greens and the free masks and the free cleanse. So that really helps you to know what to focus on and then how to take the time to really educate and draw people in and develop that value and that trust and that connection that Karen talked about at the beginning. Social media is can be about building relationships and building that trust and, and putting that out there to grab people's attention. And then um, this was Crystal had this mascara um, that she's been really honing in on and has had huge success. And you could see here, a very simple post. She did her beautiful face and she's been getting, I think she said she's had 30 people alone order the mascara on top of people who have been adding it to orders as well. And then we also have um, Molly who did a picture, a beautiful picture of herself and the two masks. I think she sold three or four youth kits after this post, three or four, okay, remember, that's a lot of PV from one social media post. And she had somebody join with a youth success pack. But I also wanna clarify that these two, Crystal and Molly, are very consistent on social media. So it might be easy to think, oh wow, that was so easy. All they did was do one simple post and they're getting all this PV. But the reality is because they've been consistent, it was just that last touch that person needed in order to finally close and begin on the products. And Shackley has been providing a lot of support and material for social media. So make sure that you check in your uh, Shackley Connect, um, sorry, the, the back office. Um, they have ideas for social media calendar, and then they also have what are great ideas for inspiration. So if you ever feel stuck, like, I don't know what to post on social media, this is a great landing point, um, point of what is your favorite recipe? Maybe share that on social media or what is your favorite vacation spot or what book are you reading? And so if you ever feel stuck on what to post, use these two tools that we have again in your back office um, to really help guide you in, in sharing Shackley in ways that are going to draw people to you so that you're getting messages. Hey, Katie, can you, tell you, can you tell me more about that detox? Hey, can you tell me more about that mascara? Um, I think that happens all the time and it's because of that consistency on social media. Oh, excellent. Pam. Thanks, mm -hmm. Katie. I'm here. Okay. That's so awesome. I love how much you do on social media. It's amazing. Um, okay. So oftentimes we come to the end of the month 
Last month was a pretty short month in February. This one has a tricky piece called spring break. It sort of shortens up the month for some of us. So we need to be able to create end of the month emergency PV. And we do that by offering deals. This is one of my favorite things. And I think it comes from um, my mindset about this um, idea of emergency PV. And I'm a rallier. And I will rally up for a prize or a reward or whatever. So get in with your um, other leaders or your upline and get yourself an incentive or something that you work for so that you can get excited about this. Because I think if you're calling um, or reaching out to people with deals, they can um, pick up on your energy. And the more energetic you are and um, the more um, belief you pour into what you're offering to them, uh, the more magnetic you become, the more attractive you become, and the more they're willing to lean in um, and place an order and take part in your incentives and deals. So offering end of the month deals is always more effective when we've had a relationship in place. That's why we want to um, regularly be contacting customers like Karen was referring to at the beginning of the call that I try to uh, really pride myself on being in touch with my customers. So um, we want to begin by always begin by promoting um, Shackley monthly promotions, the ones that Katie talked about, the two masks free on the youth thing, the 50% off on um, the organic greens booster this month. Um, we want to do the ones that Shackley is providing first of all, right? Because that costs us nothing, right? And then um, if you need, if you have somebody else who has allergies or something, or you think would benefit from the cleaning kit, for example, then come up with an incentive with a free scour off with the Get Clean Starter Kit or something. You want to um, get creative with incentives that these uh, customers that you're calling would want to buy. So at the end of a month, I'll select 10 customers and I will profile a little bit through my list and look at who I'd like to talk to, who I haven't talked to in a while. You can do 10 in a week or 10 in a day or whatever allows you with the deal. And you want to um, come up with like a 50 PV-ish deal or a 100 PV deal. Um, and the next couple of slides, we have some uh, various uh, suggestions for you um, of some collections that we have to help you create um, these kind of collections. You don't have to um, sell 50 PV deals or 100 PV collections and stuff, but if you do have something like that, you can present it as such. I have a have a collection here for you, and it helps you track your progress as you're trying to reach your goals. So I find those um, collections helpful. We can see how products relate to each other and um, what ones might benefit um, for a certain health need, for example, or how we can just get people set up like that last one, those immune collections, that 100-ish immune package or several of the immune system um, products that we might want to talk about. Oftentimes, when we're just starting out, we don't know what goes with what, so these collections are really helpful. If you're a veteran, you can sell anything you want. So the point is, is that the, um, I always tell people that um, doubt takes you out of action and action will take you out of doubt. So those two things kind of toggle back and forth. So if you're doubting your business and nobody wants to buy anything and why did I think I could do this business in the first place and, and you're just in a negative place in your mind, you got to get into action. And as soon as you get a couple of yeses, your um, doubt is going to go down because your action has gone up. Same thing. If your action goes down and you get lazy with your business, your doubt comes out and you're like, yeah, I was right. I can't do this business after all. I'm not going to be a director in this business ever. It's just not going to happen. I mean, you can pretty much talk yourself into anything. So you want to stay up. You want to stay positive, And you want to create your warm market and your relationships with people. Say an affirmation before you make your calls or send your texts that people love hearing from me. They are excited to get the information that I have to share. They know I'm passionate about helping them have the best health ever. And I love making these calls. And just say that before you pick up the phone. Get your head in the right space. I say it all the time. These six inches between your ears will take you in or out of this business. They really, really will. So creating your warm market that we talked about, that's family and friends. For some of us, that's our warmest market. And some of us, that is our most frigid market. So, you know, if that's not for you, you can skip right past it. Don't get caught up in the fact that you have to sell your family and friends. You can be successful in this business and never sell to your family or your friends. So again, calling the 10 people a day. My accountability group is doing this right now that we're calling or reaching out to 10 reach outs a day, every day in the month of March. Um, to keep these, um, you know, warm feelings going with our customers. And here are a couple of suggestions of reasons that you could call. You always got to have a reason to call. Sometimes it's uh, just from updating my email records and I wanted to have your email address correct on file. You can check with things like that. Just kind of, you know, silly reasons why you might be calling. You're not trying to sell something, but you want to reach out. Because oftentimes I'll say something like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you called. I've been thinking about calling you. I had to look up your number. I need some of that sunscreen. We're leaving soon for Florida. I'm so glad you called me. Because you're thinking about them. They're ready to call. It's a weird thing. It's the universe, you know, it's woohoo. So um, have, fortunately, 
I'm so grateful that we have a new Shackley website because now I can call my customers. After the dust has settled in the construction of this website, we can now call them up and say, hey, Nancy, have you I was calling to see if you've logged into the new Shackley website yet. I'm looking for feedback from some of my customers who have logged in, and I'd like to know how your experience went. Do you have time to talk to me about that for a few minutes today? And she'll say yes or no. Again, let that conversation go where it goes. Just at the close, you want to always thank her for her time today. Tell her how great it was to chat with her again. Um, and ask her if you'd like if she wants you to call if, to you to call again or does she like to stay up to date on stuff does she like to receive your calls are you getting the Shackley emails you know are, are those sufficient for you how do you want to go forward so you can set the expectation for what your contact is going to be with them and what they want so if she says yeah you know call me in a couple months then flip forward in your planner or your phone or whatever you're doing and make a note or use the uh, Shackley website that tells you how you can set up a follow-up and then you can just put a date in there for you know May 5th from now I'm gonna call Nancy again and give her another update so if you periodically are checking in with these people every couple months they'll start to really warm up to you so also the same thing with inviting events for online or local whatever you have okay so the next slide we have a script for you for um, an invitation to a skincare event like we sort of just did this one before but um, I'm calling you hey Nancy I just um, is this a good time do you have a couple minutes I always ask that because people are busy sort of if she picked up the phone she should be ready to talk right but sometimes they pick up the phone thinking why did I pick up the phone do you ever do that you pick up the phone and you're like oh my god why the phone. So I always ask her if she has a minute to, to chat. So hey Nancy, I was just calling to talk to you for just a little bit. Now doesn't that sound easy? Just take a look at what we're doing. Just talk to me for a little bit. So you can just do anything, right? Just pick up your room, right? Just answer my call. So I'm calling to talk to you for just a little bit about skincare. Do you have a regimen that you use? And she'll say yes. And you'll say, what do you do for skincare? And she might say, oh, Dove soap and Walgreens moisturizer. She might say that. And that's okay. And then you could say, um, how, do, how are the results that you're getting from that? Do you like that? Does that work for you? And she'll say, yes. And what do you like about it? And she'll say, I like it because it's really quick and easy. It doesn't take any time. I can't deal with a lot of products. So now you know how to talk to her about how many products we have and how simple it is. It only takes five minutes, right? I've been using it a long time. Do you like it? Let her go. Talk a little bit. I didn't know. I don't know if you're aware, but she actually recently introduced a skincare line that's free of over 2,500 chemicals and unsafe ingredients that are in typical skincare brands. And I'm um, I've come to love this product. I've been using it for a little over a year. I'm getting great results from it. And I'm hosting a group of people at my home next Thursday. It's an event that I've called Look Younger Longer. A few women wanted to try it, so I threw this event together, and I wondered if you'd like to come over and join us for that. You can bring a friend or two. You know, the more the merrier. We're going to have a fun time. I always tell them that it's going to be fun, that they want to uh, bring a friend because they don't know anybody, perhaps, or they're new in the neighborhood. They have people to bring along. They can do that. Again, here's another uh, dialogue about product guide. Again, you, do you have a minute? I'm calling to see if you have the most recent copy of the Shackley product guide. I'm not sure if I got one to you or not. I oftentimes put it on me. I haven't done a good job of reaching out with my customers for a while, so I just wanted to give you a call today. Or I haven't done a good job of getting my catalogs out. I usually do that, but the school year got in the way and they came out last fall, and I just want to make sure you have one, whatever it is, so you're not bothering them. Um, there are uh, several new products have been introduced over the past few months. I wanted to make sure that you're up to date. And, and you know, then you might throw in, I know it's been a while since you placed an order. I'm not sure that you know that you do have a lifetime membership with the discount on the Shafi products. There is no annual fee. Did you, you know, some people aren't aware that their membership lasts a lifetime. Time. They think it's an annual fee. So I always mention that. Throw in a special, like create something here. If she's sort of leaning into um, placing an order, then hey, how can I help you with that? Would you like to have free shipping? Or I can offer you a whatever she's looking at. So I was wondering if you'd like to chat a bit about any areas of health that you might be focusing on now, especially if you haven't talked to her in a while. I probably have customers I haven't talked to in three or four years. I mean, I have hundreds of them, so I haven't talked to all of them. But you know, you got to let it go where it should organically go. So have your discussion of what's new with your kids. Your kids must be getting big now. Are they in high school? Wow, they're in high school already? I think we met in preschool. I mean, time goes by, right? So what are you guys doing with health now? How's it been? How are you doing the mothering thing? How are you handling stress? Stuff like that. I'm calling to find out. Does your family drink protein shakes. Do you have a few minutes? You guys can read through these or be on the archive, but I'm not sure if you're aware that Shafty came out with a new plant-based protein shake that has no added sugar. My family really loves it. It's quick and easy breakfast, 20 grams of protein. Throw out a couple of benefits for sure, benefit statements. Why, they, why do they want to know? It's a complete meal, better than fast food. And this is what I love about the protein shake samples. I say this, when I call about shakes, I'm like, I say exactly this. Well, Nancy, I got to tell you, I got my hands on some sample packets of the shake. And just the way you say it, it's like it's something special. <laughs> I got my hands on some sample packets. They only cost a dollar, right? But 
you know, I got 30 of them. You can buy them by the caseload, but she doesn't know that, right? I got, I was able to get my hands on some sample packets of the shake, special deal from Shackley. And I thought of you because you're always looking for healthy meals. I thought it would be a nice way for me to pass you off a shake. Would you like to try a sample? How can I get it to you in the mail? Are you going to be at the soccer game on the weekend? I, you know, I don't know. We got to check. Barb said we got to check and see if Shackley can put it in the box for you and get fulfillment. One shake packet. Does anybody know? I don't know. Um, and also, Shackley has a new share cart option on their new website. Have you been on the new website? See, you can steer the conversation down to the website thing. Um, I can share a cart with you on a couple of these different shakes. I'll throw them in a cart and I can email it over to you and you can take a look at it. You just have to add your payment information. It's really great. Now, here's a new idea that I have about making a shake for somebody if they live close. You can drop a packet off three doors down or you can take somebody a shake. Have you guys made a shake and made it really bad? Yes. And you've made a shake and you can make it really good, right? So what do you think is going to happen if you give a packet to Nancy and Nancy makes the shake with water or whatever and she puts the vanilla plant in there and she shakes it up and she doesn't even put ice in it and she drinks it. She's going to go like, oh, oh, these shakes are horrible. Like, no way. I would never drink it. And she's dump it down the drain. She's not going to buy a shake from you ever because she has it. Have you ever done that? You've eaten an olive. I hate olives. If you eat an olive, hate olives. I eat an olive, but I hate olives. I will never try an olive. I think I hated them when I was eight and I've never eaten one since. So if you hate one, you hate one. That's the way it is, right? So you got to make it good from the Sam Classic is laughing at me. Um, if you're going to make a shake for somebody, you want it to taste good, right? So I did this. I actually went to get a mammogram at the hospital down the road and I ran into one of my downlines friends and I had a conversation with her about Shackley. She's not a member, but I know she knows one of my downline leaders. So I was talking to her in that regard. And um, you can show up a little better when you're not like hawking on the person, right? It's somebody else's member. So you can just work them, you know, nicely. And she, I said, hey, um, would you like to try a shake? I was talking to her about weight loss and she wants to lose weight. And I said, I can make you a shake. She's like, would you? I go, yeah, I'll make you one. I can make it vanilla right here on these later. Would you like vanilla and berries? Or I can make you chocolate and peanut butter. And she's like, oh my gosh, I would love chocolate and peanut butter. That sounds great. I said, okay, well, when does your shift start? She said 3.30. I said, okay, eat a light lunch that day so you're ready to eat something good at 3.30 and I'll bring it over to you. So I made the shaker, ran it over to her in a shaker and she drank it. I put it in a go cup and I took it to her and she with a straw and everything and she's drinking it and she gave some to her coworker. She's like, this is really good. And I said, right, you know what? And I brought you a packet because you told me the other day that your daughter was a vegan and she wanted to have some of this um, wanted to try some of these shakes. But um, here's the packet, but let me tell you about this. This pre I want to make sure you make it so it tastes good for her, okay, just like I did for you. These um, shakes are sweetened with stevia, and that's a good thing because stevia is a natural sweetener that allows no sugar. But I've come to learn that people are sensitive to the state, taste of stevia sometimes and sometimes not. So I want to make sure that this shake tastes really good for you. Sometimes people found that they need to put a little pinch of salt in there or a little lemon or lime juice or our organic screen booster to put in there to kind of offset the uh, sweetness level of the stevia. Everybody has a different sensitivity to how sweet things should be. So I want to make sure that you, this tastes really good for you, just like this chocolate and peanut butter one did for you. And so I'm setting the basis for that this is like a base product, like a cookie cookie dough, you can make like pancakes, right? And you can make plain ones and you can make blueberry ones and you can make chocolate chip ones and you can put M&Ms in your pancakes or whatever you want, right? But the base is the shake. So if this base, the way it is, that's about as bad as you can make it, it's just plain. So I want to help you make it taste better. So I want you to taste the shake and I'm going to call you in a couple of days and may I call you in a couple of days? Ask permission. Call you in a couple of days. Can I see how you liked it? Did your daughter like it? And if not, tell me what she didn't like about it so that we can try again. because We can know what we need to do to make adjustments so that she can get the shake in here because the nutrition is the thing with this shake. Do you see how you got to, you know, make it lovely? If she likes it from the beginning, you, she can learn to make it so it tastes good. Okay, enough shakes. Mascara. I'm calling to see if you're aware that Shackley has just introduced a two-in-one lash conditioner and mascara. Please call it this. It's not the exact name. It's Lash Revitalizing and Conditioning Mascara. But please emphasize the two-in-one feature of this product. It is not just mascara. It's a special mascara that's a lash conditioner and mascara all in one two products in one. Make sure you stress that so they know. Because $39 for a mascara, they might just click. So people are like, really? $39 for mascara? It's not just mascara. So it's these are the benefits. Here they are. And a really cool brush. The brush is what makes a difference. It's two-sided. One lifts up and separates and the other applies the amazing mascara and a couple of coats or just one, whatever you like. It's awesome. People just love it. I mean, tell them. People love it. It's flying off the shelves. I mean, we can't even keep it in stock. I want to make sure you get it. Have you seen it on social media? People are putting pictures of their eyeballs. Look at my eyelashes. I do that. Like when I see them, just show them. Say, my eyelashes are like crazy. 
crazy. You got to be energetic and excited. You see this? They're going to buy it from you. So read a testimonial or give them your own. I wanted to make sure that you know about it. We're having a sale now. It's buy two, get one half or buy two, get one free. Whatever you can afford to do, look at, do your math and see how, you know, how much you want to contribute to make, helping them to buy this product. Everyone who tries it really, really loves it. You know, are you getting low on mascara by chance? Um, do you want to hop on this deal? I can put the order together for you. I can put it on my order for you. Like just figure out, not are you going to buy this mascara, but how am I going to get it to you? Because you're buying it, right? You help them realize they need to buy this mascara. So believe that they're going to buy it. I'm telling you, you can sell stuff. It's not hard. So create seasonal packages, like I said before, a spring cleaning or stress relief, tax season stress relief package, spring renewal for our winter weathered skins, gardeners, you know, make up whatever. Who's your audience and what do they need to buy? Like just have fun with it. Next slide. Would you have another one? Sorry. Oh, okay. No, and then fine. we want to, oh, nope. Then we create an end of the month flash sale, right? So, um, just place a hundred PV order by the end of the month and get free shipping. These are just ideas for you. Whatever you can afford to give, look at what you have, look at your inventory. If you ordered something by mistake or you, God forbid, forgot to move your auto ship and you got the same auto ship order from last month that happened to me today. <sighs> So I have things that I can spare that I don't need, but I might make an incentive to get some PV back on my fumbling on my auto ship, right? So I, I do um, Mascara Madness, buy two, get one free, buy two, get one half off, buy one, get one half, whatever you want. So get creative and think about, like I said, what would be an incentive for you? Because you got to... Um, Bring it to the phone, to the text, to the, to the video, to the personal conversation. People love these products. You know they're going to deliver on quality and performance, and you know that people are going to love Chefe when they use it. So make them feel good. Make them feel loved, and show them the deals, and get them the deals. Just love yeah, it. So hop on the phone, set a goal. I just love selling stuff. Tell yourself you love to sell stuff. What's the number one things people say to you? Hey, I can't sell. Well, that's a bummer, but you can sell. <laughs> Again, that's Again. excellent, Pam. I love all your language. Thank you so much for sharing that with us and that we have it written down too, so we can go back and reference it. Because you're right, sometimes you just have to have some place to start and then you can put your own twist on it. Um, so we're going to close up today. Thank you so much for tuning in, but I want to be sure you see this slide because this. Um, website is where this um, will be archived, this video that we just have recorded. And this is um, also the website that Katie referenced when she talked about her Earn and Learn program. This is a fabulous resource for us. So if you are not a subscriber, it shows you at the bottom how to subscribe. And um, it's really important. And they also have um, a Facebook group that you can be a part of that's like BH31 or something. And you can ask to be a part of that once you're a subscriber. So um, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Karen, Katie, Pam, Barb, excellent work. Excellent work. Thanks, Goodbye, guys. everybody. Have fun. <laughs>